Hey, it's Dr. Miller here. I'm so excited to share this case with you. Uh, this is a patient I just did five, five, six days ago. It was on Friday, Friday, Friday Saturday, yes. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I gotta use my fingers. Five days ago, okay. Um, so she's a little bit more swollen than normal because usually I we wait around seven days, but with the holidays and everything, I felt like it was okay to take off. So let's take a look. Um, she, uh, let's take a look at the profile. Uh, a nose that was rather rounded at the tip. She wanted that to be projected a little bit more and, and we build up her dorsum a bit. The chin was a little retrusive. We wanted to bring that forward a bit. Her upper eyelids were a little bit saggy um, as well. And the lower lids were sort of hollow and uh, sort of darkened. And so we wanted to fill those out as well. And unfortunately that patient post-op couldn't make it here today so instead we have her daughter who's here and I walked in and I said well it's really nice meeting you but I'd like to see your mom who I operated on um, obviously all kidding aside so here it is now just five days later I'm going to just turn your head to the side and the nose is uh, has a really nice shape to it it's a little full right at the tip as I would expect because the cast just came off and the chin a little swollen no doubt um, the chin takes a good three months or so for all the swelling to go down, but you'll notice rapidly within the next week or two, most of the swelling going absolutely down, okay? Mm -hmm. The lower lids really aren't even that bruised that much. That looks really nice. And if you're seeing any on Instagram world, if you're seeing any kind of discoloration under here, that's simply the mild bruising from the fat injections. And then you have the upper eyelid uh, creases which have healed already really really nicely so why don't you share with everyone what your experience was in terms of the post-op care and, okay. and preliminarily how you feel about things well post-op care wasn't that bad I followed all the instructions I did a good job cleaning according to the physician assistant so I helped her out a great deal um, what was your other question? <laughs> um, expectations okay. you know, how um, do you feel about the way it looks now I think it looks great Despite the swelling, um, this is the nose that I wanted, so I wasn't sure what it would look like, but even with a little bit of swelling, I think it still looks great. So everything looks really great. That, I'm very happy. And breathing-wise, I'm trying to remember, did, did you have, I'm trying to remember, I think you had some breathing yes, difficulty, right? Yes, I did. I had turbinate reduction also because I was having trouble breathing, but... How's that I feeling? Can breathe. Now? It feels awesome. So here she is just <laughs> five days later and her breathing is better than it was, yes. than it was before. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't thank you enough for agreeing to go on Instagram so that you can share your experience with others because uh, those of you who are watching, I know sometimes uh, you're sort of gathering the courage to do this and it's always nice to see that there are those who put put the courage together and, and went through it. So, uh, ha oh, happy Thanksgiving to all of you in Instagram world, all of my patients in Instagram yeah. world and happy Thanksgiving thank to you. Thank you, Dr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank that's you. great. Um, what are 